friends let us see unit 2 b the story the boy who borrowed let us read the story the boy who borrowed benny loved reading he always had his nose in a book and he had never had enough to read really said his mother you only take half a day to read a book benny you need a book about a long as the dictionary i want a book that goes on forever said benny that's only the book that will really give me enough reading benny had didn't enough money to buy a lot of books and no one gave him any except at this at christmas time he had about eight of his own and that was all here you can see benny and his mother benny borrowed books from his friends from the library please will you lend me the island of adventure he asked bill i haven't read it he asked mary for the secret seven and she lent it to him then he borrowed five on a treasure island from henry and two nature books from john but he always forgot to give them back at least he forgot at first but when he saw the bookcase gradually filling up he similarly couldn't bear to give back any of the books so he didn't if the children asked him for them he pretended he hadn't got them he was the most dishonest little boy he didn't only borrow books he borrowed a ball from eric and a pen from luxy keaton lent him a jigsaw and ellen lent him a new rubber he didn't give any of them back and the children were very cross instead cross means angry and then one night something happened it was something very particular and benny quite thought it was a dream he sat up in a bed because he thought he heard a noise surely there were noise in the other room where he kept his books and toys he peeped out of the bed he listened outside the door of the room yes there were noises it's too bad said a noise i don't belong to benny i belong to john i have got his name inside so i have said the another voice and i belong to bill said the third voice he loved me very much and read me six times now i am stuck here in benny's shell and i don't like him he doesn't treat me properly either he turned me some of my pages down to mark his place and that's a horrid thing to do with books i belong to mary said another voice i was a birthday present from her mother and she liked me now i have to stay here though i am mary has empty place in her bookshelf waiting for me 
Let's go, said Dan. Said yet another voice. Why should we stay here? Let's run down the stairs and go to that little room where there is always a window left open for the cat. Come on, I won't stay here and be a bother book any longer. Thank you friends. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel for more videos. And there will be a part 2. You should see it because then only you can understand this lesson. Bye friends.